Thank you, Jim. I'm here at the KXP Gathering Space at our studios at the Seattle Center, and I'm here to tell you about the shows this week, and they include a Japanese breakfast tomorrow night, because you can have breakfast anytime at the Crocodile. I don't even know what a Japanese breakfast is. I do know it's a great band, though. Here is Japanese Breakfast live on KEXP. The new album is called Soft Sounds from Another Planet. Coming up on Thursday, one of my favorite singer-songwriters here in Seattle. She's played on that stage right behind me. Her name is Sarah Cahoon, and she'll be at Numos. I want to be your lover like no other, but it's not really up to me. Sarah Cahoon played drums for both Carissa's Weird and Band of Horses before heading out solo, and this is her fourth album from Where I'm From. On Saturday at Marymore Park, one of the most talented and acclaimed singer-songwriters right now, Sturgill Simpson, will be performing. Don't know what it means. Don't know what it means. If someone... Sturgill Simpson is from Kentucky, but he spent a period of time living in Everett. Here he is covering Nirvana's Bloom and giving it a full reworking on his album, A Sailor's Guide to Earth. A lot of legendary bands coming to Seattle in the fall, and one of them is the Dream Syndicate. Such a cool band. They're going to be here Saturday, and you have a unique opportunity to see them at one of my favorite clubs in Ballard, The Tractor. Originally active from 1981 all the way to 1989, the Dream Syndicate reunited in 2012 and released the long-awaited fifth album, How Did I Find Myself Here This Year? You can also catch him live at KEXP Saturday at 2. I mentioned legends, and yet another legend comes to our town again. Billy Bragg is going to be playing the Neptune on Sunday. And time to get active with the activist, so switch off World of Warcraft and start working for the great leap forward. Bragg's latest album was recorded with Joe Henry at train stations across the U.S. It's called Shine a Light, field recordings from the Great American Railroad. Billy Bragg is actually going to be back here next Monday. I highly recommend coming down and seeing Billy Bragg. It's around 6 o'clock. He's going to be doing something from his new book with our own Greg Vandy. They're going to do a discussion about it. And one other thing happening on Monday, a mayoral forum is taking place right here on our stage. We're going to have the two candidates for mayor talk about music and the environment. And that is free and open to the public. And that gets started around 11.30 in the morning on Monday as well. We're very busy here at KEXP. And I'm John Richards from KEXP. And this has been the Music That Matters.